Good morning, thank you for coming back to my channel. So today I'm at the Milton Keynes at the Into Shopping Centre and I'm going to be doing some cycling on some sort of spinning bike and this is all uh, with BBC Three Counties Radio and I'm going to be promoting the Milton Keynes Marathon on the radio. You're a sporty bunch here in Milton Keynes, you really are. Every year the MK Marathon attracts around 10,000 runners. It's consistently ranked in the top 10 marathons in the MK and I'm joined uh, by the organisers. Hello, organisers. Let's find out. We don't need to go over here. Hello, what's your... Uh, hello, let's go over there first, Danny. If you'd be, you'd be I'm, I'm peddling, Danny. you got to do the mic. Let me know who you're talking okay, to. We'll start over there. Hello, sir. What's Hi, your name? Hi, Andy. I'm Andy. I'm the race director of the Milk Keynes Marathon. Oh, OK, so tell us, how many people have you signed up so far? So far, we've just hit 8,000 entries. Uh, but we always get a massive upsurge towards as we get closer to the race. And, and are there loads of are people like really going for it and training hard, looking to beat massive times? I'm sure they are. There's, we've got something for everybody. It's a different race for everybody's ability, uh, different speeds. So everyone just can come along, enjoy the event. Uh, and once they've completed a marathon, they'll never forget the challenge. It, it's, it's a 26 miles, man. I've got to be honest with you. Uh, oh. I don't know if I could, if I'm honest. <laughs> it's hard. People say about hitting the wall. When when's, when when's the wall get hit? The, the, the wall's all in the mind. It comes down to the training, and you need to pace yourself. Really? So if you train for a certain pace, don't try and go any faster than that unless you've done all the training. OK, well, I, I, I mean, I hit the wall uh, this around about five minutes past seven. And you, and you can get it. It's all in the mind. It's all in the mind, is that? Um, it is. Can you do it dressed up as Michael Jackson or as a rhino? Absolutely. Or wear... we, we love people to come dressed up if they can. Uh, but it's not just a marathon. We've got something for everybody. On Sunday, the 6th of May, we've got the Rocket 5K, which goes from the city centre down to the stadium. Yeah. Uh, that's why it's called the Rocket. It's basically downhill. Uh, and then on Monday, the 7th of May, we've got the half marathon, the marathon, the marathon relay, where teams of four take on the marathon distance. Yes. And then the superhero fun run. Okay, let's, let's, let's talk to some other people who do the marathon. Not Mistress Kate, because she doesn't do marathons. Uh, hello, what's your name? Hi, I'm Portia Simmons. Hello, Portia. And, what do you, and what's your involvement with this? I'm the concourse director for MK Marathon. Well, what's that, what, does that, what does that mean? What does that do? So, I will be responsible for everything that's um, in the stadium on the concourse when they finish. <laughs> We greet them and we give them their goodie bags. Oh, we get a goodie bag? Yes, you do. Do you get, do you get like, the silver blanket as well? Like the silver blanket? Um, they might be silver blankets. Oh, really? Uh, do you, yes. Do you get a medal? Yes, oh, good. beautiful medals. Because I've got a medal already. I serve in the Navy. I'll bore with you. Let's, <laughs> let's go over here. Hello, sir. What's your name? Hi, I'm Richard Baisley. Uh, and what, what's your job in this marathon organisation? I'm going to be running it. I'm not, I'm not organising. I'm going to be running the event. Yeah. You're just here for the silver blankets and the medals. Exactly. Um, um, and how's training going? Yeah, it's going well. Yeah, getting all the long runs in, which are the, really the essential runs that you need to get done each week to prepare yourself for the big distance of 26.2 miles. So what, up every morning and, and away you go, yeah? Yeah, every weekend, you know, go out on a Sunday and get the long run done and been gradually increasing the mileage as the weeks go on. And do you enjoy it? Yeah, I do, actually. It's great to get outdoors, get some fresh air. And the, the marathon day is the sort of celebration lap for all the hard training lap. you put in. Celebration lap, 26 miles. Uh, What's the time you're looking for then, mate, on the big day? What are you hoping to do it in? Um, I'd like to go under four hours, which is a, a big benchmark for most people. So if I can get under four, I'd be very happy. We're talking about ice cream this morning, because we Ooh. had an item early one in the show about this weird and wonderful ice cream you get, you get like Marmite and mm. Guinness. Ooh. Uh, and I was, I was asking my team earlier what favourite ice cream they liked. Marathon people, we were talking about ice cream, like I said. What's your ice cream of choice? Oh, mine's got to be caramel. Caramel. Yeah, Apparently that's it. chavvy. That is so chavvy. The Call me a chav. I'll have caramel. <laughs> okay, yeah. Portia, what are you going to have, my love? Coconut. Oh! Exotic. 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 <laughs> a bit like Portia. You are exotic, so you have coconut. And Mistress Kate is a chav, and we'll have <laughs> caramel. We'll stick over here with our chavvy yeah, you caramel. Yeah, you stick there with your chavvy caramel. Too. And let's have a movie here. So what, what ice cream do you use, so what are you having? I'm a big fan of Oreo flavour, but other cookies are available. Absolutely, my friend. Other cookies are available. Remember that for legal reasons. Okay.